Let's say we're asked to find the slope of a line perpendicular to 3x minus 4y equals 2. We start by trying to isolate for y so that we can find the slope of this line. We can subtract the 3x over to the other side and get negative 4y equals 2. When we move the 3x over to the other side, it will become a negative. And lastly, we can divide all terms of this equation by negative 4 which would give us y by itself, because the negative 4 will cancel, equals 2 over negative 4 and negative 3x over negative 4. At this stage, we can clean this up to be negative 1 half. 2 over negative 4 is negative 1 half. And negative over a negative will simply be a positive. 3 and 4 don't have any common factors, so it will just be written down as 3 fourths. We can rearrange this to look the way we're normally used to seeing slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So the slope of this given line is 3 over 4. We should remember that for the slope of a perpendicular line, we need to find the negative inverse. The negative inverse of 3 over 4 is negative 4 thirds. So it's either called a negative inverse, some texts call it the negative reciprocal, either or is the same. We find this by simply flipping the number that we're given, so 3 over 4 becomes 4 over 3, and we flip the sign. So if it's a positive, the slope of a perpendicular line will be a negative slope. Had this been a negative to begin with, the slope of this line would have been positive.